Stephen Burt was born in New Milford, Connecticut in 1759. He later moved to Bennington, Vermont and married Martha Stevens. When he was 17, he joined the Loyalist forces of the King's Rangers, led by Robert Rogers, the charismatic former leader of Rogers Rangers. He was active in the Northern Battles of the American Revolutionary War. In 1793, Stephen, accompanied by his pregnant wife and infant son, traveled to the banks of the Rideau River. There he built a house and the area became known as Burritt's Rapids. In 1800, he became the Justice of the Peace for the Johnstown District, and in 1808, he was elected to represent Grenville County in the Assembly of Upper Canada. The Governor General of the province, General Isaac Brock, was so impressed with Burritt that he appointed him as the commander of Fort Wellington at Prescott during the War of 1812. Stephen died in 1844. As for Burritt's Rapids, it became a busy town. At its peak in the 1840s, with the Rideau Canal in full operation, it had daily mail and a telegraph, two general stores, a bakery, a millinery shop, two shoe stores, a tin and stove store, a grist mill, a woolen mill, a tannery, three blacksmiths, three wagon shops, a cabinet maker, two churches, two schools, two hotels, and a bank. As railways surpassed the canal in the transportation of goods, the town's economy diminished. Today, it is a tranquil village on the border of the city of Ottawa. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, give us a like, and ring the bell for future notifications. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Lastly, if you'd like to help feed my feline research assistants, we're on Patreon. Hey look, another video.